there's not a company that I have found out there right now that is innovating so fast and with such cool innovations than Sony. I'm at a Sony event, obviously, and I know I hear about it quite often, about, God, you must really like Sony. It's my website, and I like to talk about the things that I use. And I don't use Canon and Nikon right now. I was a Canon shooter, I was a Nikon shooter. I even did an article about why I gave up my Nikons. All the times I write these articles, I was hoping both those companies would hear what we're saying. And back in the day when even Michael Reichman was with us, he was saying the same thing. Innovate, innovate. It's all about the camera companies that are delivering the newest technologies to us. Okay, we've had the chance to sit not only with the management and talk to them at this event, but a number of other uh, photographers that are well known in their field. And the one common denominator throughout all the interviews, all the talks, all the table talks, all the sharing of beers is that Sony is the leader in innovation. There's a reason why I use mirrorless. It uses the sensor to handle everything. I mean, there's some challenges that come along with that, and Sony's addressed a lot of those with their newest cameras. But for me, being able to have all those autofocus points, contrast phase detection, fast AEF, to be able to see all the data in the viewfinder, and to be able to do all the things that I do, specifically in landscape and wildlife photography. I use the Sony A9, which is the 24 megapixel, I call it super camera, uh, back illuminated sensor that they use in that camera that allows 20 frames per second without blackout, with complete silent shooting. And it just delivers. It's delivered for some wildlife photography I've done, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without the technology that's inside those cameras. All the systems I'm dealing with and all the cameras I'm playing with are mirrorless. And that's just because it allows me to take my photography further. In a mirrorless system, the sensor does all the work. That's why in many cases it's become a real challenge for battery power and so forth, but all the focusing is done on the sensor. So rather than focusing in prisms and different areas uh, like DSLRs have to do with their uh, focus sensors, everything is done right off the sensor itself. The sensor's always on. You're seeing what the sensor sees when you look through the viewfinder. The viewfinders are so good today that really sometimes it's hard to tell the fact that you're not looking through a regular uh, DSLR type finder. So the challenge in a mirrorless camera is obviously power, two, keeping the sensor cool, but the sensor's doing all the great work. And what Sony's done over the last few years, and specifically because they also own a sensor company, is design some incredible sensors. The sensor, for example, that goes in the A9 camera. It's a back illuminated sensor. It does 20 frames a second without blackout, silent shooting, huge shutter speeds, high ISO capability, and not to mention great dynamic range. These are all tools that photographers want that you can't get from the other guys. And I really do hope that the other guys come through and do something creative that way also in the future. But if Sony stays true to course, as I believe they will, they've got other innovations up their sleeve that they aren't even telling us about. And I sit down and try to talk to the Sony guys and I try to read their poker faces. And I wouldn't want to play poker with them because Deep down behind their eyes, you can see they know what they're doing and they've got fun stuff coming, but they certainly don't indicate it and they don't, certainly don't uh, tell us what it is. But the history of Sony over the last five years with the development and introduction of full frame A7 cameras to where we are today with the A7 III R, the A7 III, which is absolutely an amazing camera for less than $2,000, and the A9, which is a pro camera with some really great specs. The autofocus capability, the IAF, all these things, if you're a photographer, you have to like. So if you're shooting DSLR and you like DSLR, stay there. Do whatever you want. You can call me a fanboy if you want. Maybe I am. But right now, my camera of choice, as well as a ton of other professional photographers these days, 
is the Sony. Why? Because it delivers the things as photographers that we need for our craft and to take our photography further. And I'll use an example. I've used it in before. But the A9 with the 100 to 400 millimeter G Master lens at 20 frames a second will allow me to capture wildlife and images that I couldn't capture before. And if I am shooting people and I turn IAF on and I push the IAF and it locks onto that eyeball in continuous autofocus, that subject can move any way they want, turn around. That IAF is so darn quick and so good that I can shoot at wider apertures than I ever did before and have perfectly focused eyes. It's just absolutely, truly incredible. If you haven't tried it, you owe it to yourself to stop by a dealer or wherever you shop and take a look at the Sony system. Sony is truly innovating in this business. Innovation is what's going to drive the hardware in the future. I hope that Canon and Nikon begin to innovate and really begin to show us something new and different. I want to be there when it does. So Canon and Nikon, if you're listening, hey, I'm all open to change. I'm all open to talking about everything. But I have a lot of people who say, you don't talk about Canon and Nikon much. It's because I've owned Canon and I've owned Nikon. And like a lot of other people, we've moved on to where the innovations are. While I truly consider myself a photographer, I do have a techie side. And that techie side sits right here in these Sony cameras and, of course, the Fuji cameras. I can't ignore them as well as the Olympus cameras. The mirrorless cameras are really doing some amazing jobs. And oh, by the way, I forgot to mention Leica. Leica is one of the major companies that actually sees mirrorless as a future. Take a look at their SL, beautiful camera. My focus is with this website to talk about the things that I like, talk about the things that I use, but specifically share with you the tools that I think will do a better job. And all of this comes from the innovation that these companies offer. But the bottom line is, I'm the guy that likes innovation. I like talking about innovation. And I like what innovation has allowed me to do with my photography. And I know there's a bunch of you out there that feel the same way. Thanks very much. I appreciate you watching this video. And I'll see you on the Luminous Landscape.